Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back, you guys. I've been crafting. I just am learning a new skill, I guess, or skill set, a set of skills. I've been doing wire wrapping or beaded jewelry with wire. I don't know. Um, I started doing sun catchers, remember? Uh, here's the latest one I did, a peace sign. It's okay. I don't know that I love that it doesn't have any crystals on the center part. Um, but anywho, that's what started me. Then, of course, I started seeing things online, on YouTube, I should say, Pinterest, all over the place, um, that I really wanted to try. So that's what I've been up to. And guys, I have been, and I love saying this, on the struggle bus because when you're learning something new, it's not easy. I'm out of my comfort zone, and dude, Joe would walk in the craft room, and I'd be like, I think you need to go, because I'm like furious. <laughs> I threw out so much wire. Anyway, let me share what I managed to be successful at. Now, you know, these, this piece here is something that I got from, um, what is the name of that? I used to get a bead box. No, it wasn't a bead box. It was called, uh, here. It was called, here it is. I have all these bags. Mindful Souls. Anyway, this came, and the arms are here. So I had a bunch of different things. These are both things that I got from Mindful Souls, but I took the chain off so that I could figure out how to wrap them for myself. So I have this piece of, I think this is probably rose quartz. This might be, I don't really know the names of them anymore. Sodalite, I'm thinking. This is definitely um, citrine. I love citrine. And this is how they wrapped it. Now, not perfect in any way. It's just wrapped up and you could I love how they did it though, like a little bow at the top. I don't know how they did that, but super cute. Um, so I pulled out all my gems that I have when I got into um, crystals. So I have lot. this is actually just beach glass, I guess they call it, sea glass. But the rest of these, I think, are gems. This is probably... Um, Onyx or um, Tiger's Eye, Amethyst, Quartz. Um, so I'm going to play. I think this is Carnelian or Venturine. And I'm going to play around with wrapping them. I haven't done anything like that yet. Today was the first time I did these. Which are, this is called Strawberry Quartz, which I just found at Hobby Lobby. Had their beads 50% off. Strawberry Quartz. These are at 8 millimeter, I want to say, or 10. 8 millimeter, yeah. Um, and this is a very simple tutorial on YouTube using one piece of wire. I did it with 18 gauge and 20 gauge. I think these are both 20 gauge, and these are, this is 18 gauge, so it's a thicker wire. The lower the number, the thicker the wire. The higher the number, the finer the wire. So I'm just starting. Um, there's a lot of good tutorials on YouTube. One of them is by uh, Vaughn. Her name is Yvonne, and she calls herself Vaughn. And her channel is Back to Earth Creations. This was one of her tutorials. So it's a pendant. It's a heart pendant with wire weaving. So all of this is just, I think it's, I don't know if it's called figure eight or not, but shaping the heart was part of it. And then you bent down and you made the the uh, the bale out of the same wire. So it's like, you know, it's one piece of wire. No, it's probably two pieces of wire, two to make the heart. This is one of the first ones I did. Then these are by Vaughn too. This is called herringbone. <coughs> And I don't love them. They're not perfect. I tell you, I've been on the struggle bus. I love saying that. But I was just playing. I'm learning how to make my own jump rings. 
So basically, you can see the herringbone pattern in some of these better than others. Like you can really, this is what you're going for, this kind of pattern here. But what's happening on the sides, I'm just not too clear about. And each one, depending on the type of bead I use, this one, I think I want to take this apart and just use this bead. I don't know if I love it with the, the three. Um, this was just a crystal that I did with two silver beads on top. I mean, it kind of, it has herringbone-ish. I mean, as a pendant, it's decent. It's decent. It's not, I'm telling you, this isn't stuff that I would necessarily want to sell or even give away because I just don't feel like it's my, it, I mean, but that being said, they sold me this which it's super cute. It doesn't have to be per perfect. It's holding the citrine in place. I mean, what's the big diff? Anywho, so I did a bunch of these because it was frustrating me. Um, and they got better each time. And then I did this big, I'm just playing. I want to pull out beads that I have in my stash, but I don't love that. I think it might've looked better with a, a silver tone um, wrap. I don't love it. It's, it's just not doing anything for me. So that's the herringbone that Vaughn did. Um, this was a different tutorial. And this is where I was chucking these in the trash all weekend. I would sit in here. And I mean, there are some decent ones. Like this is a keeper. Evidently, I mean, it's not horrible. But it could be so much better. It's... The way they had you, this is supposed to be like a crescent moon. So this is the, the tips of the crescents. And I think hammering these points of the crescent would get me so frustrated. And because I think this is coated wire. So the wire wasn't behaving. Anywho, um, I tried a couple different wires. I think this is raw copper. Like I call, they call it, um, bare wire, bare copper wire, um, soft, anyway, and then I did one with the, the silver tone, so that's the other thing, just getting the hang of what type of wire works best for me, I'm really not good at my swirlies yet, the little spirals, this just, I just got lucky, that one thing, where is it, this thing, I really was proud of these spirals and I hammered these. This is a much bigger gauge. I think this is 12 gauge wire, so it's much thicker. Um, I think it's aluminum actually. This is aluminum, so it's super soft. It's so bendy, but it's a pleasure to work with. Like I'm tearing up my hands. <laughs> I broke a nail. Like it's been, I've been on the struggle bus. So, um, but guys, I wanna tell you something. Program, meaning my 12 step program, Al-Anon, I go to Al-Anon. Man, I did not quit. I just kept it moving. I felt my feelings. I felt the frustration, but there was payoff because I'm gonna show you the one I made at the end of the weekend. So I managed to complete these three, not perfect, still very much on the verge of throwing it away. Like I would, I'll take the beads out before I toss it. <laughs> but this didn't even get a chain this one i wore the first day so it, it, it this one made me happy because i love citrine but i would love to do it again um the silver tone one's pretty cool because i like that i took the beads all the way down um i don't know i like that one so this was the one that made me so it ended the weekend see look at all these i want to show you this these were all my practice herring bones i mean I was a wreck. I was so angry. And I mean, I think it's just because, and I went out and bought more wire. Like, I just keep buying wire because I don't know what the frick kind of wire to get. Everyone uses their own style. Um, the Artistic Wire is a brand that you can get in the craft stores, but I think it is coated. Um, but a lot of people like that. And then the other one, the one that Vaughn recommends and uses, it's called power wire so I ordered two sizes in that in this vintage bronze and I haven't really used it yet I mean I've, I think I probably like, I think this is a piece of it 
I think I used the 18 mil. Yeah, the 18 gauge, I'm sorry, for this. And then I didn't, because this is 26, so it's really thin. But, so I got those two at her suggestion. And then today I went to Hobby Lobby, which I have not been to Hobby Lobby. And I bought all these in all the different sizes. They were only $3.99. This is Beadalon, German style wire, medium temper, which probably means it's going to make me angry. <laughs> it's going to give me a medium temper. And then I ordered this, which I have more of this coming from, I guess, Amazon. Now this is called Copper Wire USA Dead Soft. This is just 16 gauge. That's all that came. I ordered two of them. And it's really soft. This is copper. And it, it's really nice to work with. That's what this is. It's really soft, but I still evidently couldn't <laughs> get it to do. This is not it. This is it, I think. Um, but I got a lot more gauges of this very same color so that I could do a project. Because sometimes you need two or three different gauges in one project. Okay, so that is mainly... Oh, let's see. This... Okay, okay. The other thing I wanted to show you was my, my weaving. Uh, this. So Vaughn also has... She calls it a master class. And this is um, Back to Earth Creations of different weaves and this is so hard to show you oops sorry because the wires are so thin so this is just called I don't even know it's just wrapping like one continuous wrap around then this one had a little bit more happening you know it was trying to make different patterns and stuff and I couldn't follow it was so tiny but I just ended up wrapping it up and doing that and then this one was a little bit like you could at least tell that I was doing like three or two 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 I don't know it's hard to see and then you know so she was just trying to show you how you can do wire weaving and that because then I tried to do this ring that's what I was going to show you which really got me angry so tonight I think I want to make a ring look at this ring so I did all the band and it's not great at all this is a totally different person too that did this tutorial um, you were supposed to get a bead caught like one of these I think in here so you were supposed to nestle a bead in there and then you were supposed to wrap these woven parts around too and she lost me like and then it broke so this whole thing broke because I keep rebending and rebending because I I get frustrated so it was a fail um, but I tried and that's the thing with me whenever I've approached a new um, craft of any type I just make what I want to make I don't like to start at the beginning on little cheesy things like I want to want the piece that I'm making I don't want to just make some cheesy like this this is really basic I could do a tutorial for you guys on this which is basically just one piece of wire and then you just you make your bail and then you put the wire through the beads and then you come back up and you wrap all around the beads I mean I don't know if it looks any good it's just I don't know see like I didn't finish the wrap there so I, I think they're still see how those two are touching I think I should have made these two touch like I could have wrapped further those two touch those two kind of touch yeah these these all touch this was the third one I made so see I get better as I go that's why I'm repeating the same projects because I I need practice so today or I'm sorry last night so this is another one of the these that I I literally like this is the one I wore I think because I liked the the different colors it ended it, it, it it's decent again it's still I think this is probably the best one I made out of all of them um, I don't know what I think I used three ten or eight millimeter beads instead of this one I used because I couldn't fit a ten millimeter in there. Anywho, but look at this one. This is the Mrs. Oh, this yeah I'm gonna show you it. Here it is. Dun da da da. I wore this today. 
I was so proud of it. Okay, so this is a tutorial on Vaughn's channel. I will link it in the description. This was the first one that I did. This was my first attempt. It is not perfect. I did not know how to make this spiral. I made separate and then I attached it. But for the most part, let's see, did I make it? No, that was just the let how I ended. The wire was, so I, anyway. But it is wonky. This tutorial is called Lunacy. Something about a crescent lunacy. Because she made several of these and they're just, it's just twisting the wire all over the place. But I was so proud of it. The fact that I got the crescent shape. I made this little um, kind of loop and then I hung a butterfly from it. I almost ruined my bale. You can see how I I had to keep rewrapping this bale and I was like, I'm going to break it. And that was the end. After doing all this work, we did the bale. I, was, I would have been so pissed <laughs> if that happened. And then I just made this chain for it out of... Um, I had I had a lot of beading supplies on hand. I had this in my stash. I think I got it from Michaels. Yeah, bead landing I think is a Michaels brand. I used this for um, I know what they were for. I was using this to make dream catchers, those wooden dream catchers. Anyway, um, and I just went and bought a little jump. Um, sorry, a lobster claw clasp, and I made my jump rings for the um, chain. I like a 20 inch chain. It just fits me nice. But yeah, this one made, because I did this last night, it took me like a half an hour. I did it after dinner. And it's not perfect at all. I just kept trucking. And I didn't give up. And that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's frustrating. Like, I have not been this frustrated for so long. I don't think any medium has gotten me as frustrated as this. Not even like polymer clay. I've ruined a lot of stuff of polymer clay. Like, but this for some reason really gets me frustrated. So I was just so proud of this one. I wore it today to my meeting. Nobody even asked me about it. I didn't care. See, because I'm fully self-supporting now. I don't need outside uh, validation <laughs> as much. But I'm just bragging on myself because I'm just proud of myself. I think that's important to be proud of yourself. And I just love it. It's crazy, but I'm crazy. So anyway, and then this one I did today. This is just not good at all. But again, a totally another take. See the difference in size. Another take on a crescent. They're all over the place out there. Um, this one was kind of the crescent going down this way and then these are both I don't know how this ended up pointing that way because I generally tend to point them this way but whatever um, this one she had little beads on I'm probably gonna make another one of these because it, it took very quick it was not hard to um, the way she made it there was no hammering she just left this kind of loop on the bottom where this one, she wants you to hammer it and make it like a total point. So I am just starting to get the feel for it. Um, I am not ready, you guys, to do any type of tutorial. I need to make some more um, slogan bracelets. Oh, I got a new ring. I didn't show you guys my new ring. This is for my 35th anniversary. I, I got a whole brand new set. I think I'm going to have my old set um, made into like a cocktail ring for this hand. I'm just going to get them remounted. But this is a, uh, what is it called, like an enhancer. So I got, I think it's like a one and a half. And it's uh, white gold. And then the enhancer is, I think it's dirty, um, yellow gold. Because I like two-tone. So, and then I could trade this in, like in another five years, maybe I bump this up to like in more carrots. So anyway, that, I got that. I'm really enjoying it. I love it. I think I need to clean it, but it's pretty sparkly. Um, but yeah, I need to make, I've been wearing paws and just be. That's my go-to these days too. Just be. Don't do. Let me come back up. 
So that's it. Um, I would love to hear any of your suggestions or stories about your wire wrapping journey, if, if you've tried it at all, if you've been successful, if you have any tutorials that you think I would like because I need real time and I need someone who tells me exactly what they're doing. You know, that's how I teach, right? But tonight, I think I want to make a ring. See, this would have fit me. And I broke it. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. Um, happy Monday. Thanks for watching.